Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick review of this ProStormer electric impact wrench. If that's something you're interested in, stick around. Originally, I was thinking about doing like a side-by-side -side comparison with um, my cordless impact wrench that I have. I just have this Ryobi. Um, but I don't think it's going to be an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Uh, first of all, uh, this one only puts out like maybe 200, it's probably less than 200 uh, foot-pounds of torque. And obviously being battery-powered, that's what's holding this one back. Whereas this one claims to put out 450 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, and I have, the, the biggest issue is I have no way of actually verifying those claims. Um, so I, I don't have a testing rig. I'm, I'm not the torque test channel. I'm not Project Farm. So what I'm going to do is just unbox this. I'm going to maybe rotate my tires on my truck with it and uh, then give you my impressions of how well it works. Not sure what I was expecting, but it comes in a nice, nice little carrying case. So here it is. Looks like they provide a four-piece socket set, 17, 19, 21. And 22. Get your little manual here. The construction is um, the not the nose piece here is some type of a metal, like a die cast metal. And then it looks like we have a nylon uh, body with TPU overmold, makes it nice and comfortable. Forward reverse switch. Replaceable brushes, but additional brushes are not included. Not that that's a deal breaker or anything. Let's plug it in and check it out. You know, this cord is uh, a nice oil resistant, it looks like some type of an SO or SOOW type uh, cord. It's 18 gauge, and the plug is polarized which you don't always see on these types of units. It has a hog ring style uh, retaining clip in here and uh, it does a pretty good job. So there you go. Let's try it out on something real. Well, for the sake of convenience, I think I'm going to use it on the beetle here. I need to check the end play on my bearing um, on this wheel here. And so since I'm in the shop already and so is the beetle, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. So give me one second, I'll get this wheel up in the air, and then I will test out the uh, impact wrench right here on these lug nuts. Alright, I got her plugged in. I'm using the included 19 millimeter socket. Let's see how she does. Good breakaway torque. Not that these were torqued down ridiculously or anything.
One thing I've noticed, and you probably can hear, is that there's no electronic brake on this or anything. Um, some of the newer uh, torque wrenches can detect when there's a no when there's no load on the arbor, and it'll slow down. Um, I don't think I'm expecting that at this price point. For this price point, I just want something that works, works well, and is going to last. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to check the, the run out on this bearing and then I'm going to put this wheel back on real quick. Alright, don't judge me too harshly if I struggle getting this wheel back on. So after that little bit of use with this, I have a couple of opinions about this Pro Stormer electric impact wrench. First of all, it's very comfortable to hold. The weight is not that bad. It's comparable to one of the battery powered impact wrenches, so not too terrible. The housing feels very sturdy. It feels like it's, it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't flux under my grip. The cable that they use for the power cord is very nice. The polarized power cord is also nice. The included sockets that are fine, they're decent quality. You only get four of them and chances are good that you're already going to have a set if you're buying one of these guys. I can't verify the claims of the 450 foot-pounds of torque. I just don't have that capability. But if I was just going by feel, it just it feels more powerful than my Ryobi cordless impact wrench. and I would be surprised if it wasn't more powerful than that. You can just get more power out of a brushed motor that it runs on 120 volts. I think the only complaint that I would have about this unit is the way it retains the sockets onto the end of the anvil. Normally, you would have a ball detent that would go right in that hole there, or some even have a pin that would lock on to the sockets. This one uses what's called a hog ring, and it just applies a little bit of spring pressure on the inside of the end of the socket. Well, that's all well and good if that hog ring makes a nice tight fit, but as you can see here, the socket does not stay on. And so I can foresee losing sockets inside engine bays, having them get stuck on the fasteners, so that would really be my only complaint about this. But besides that, it does a great job and I have no other complaints. So if you're in the market for a good quality, affordable electric impact wrench, I think you couldn't go wrong by uh, picking up one of these Pro Stormer wrenches. If you want to find out more about this impact wrench, go ahead and click the link down in the description below and it'll take you to the Amazon page for this product. Big thanks to Pro Stormer for providing this tool for review. I look forward to breaking this out when the battery powered impact wrench just doesn't have enough power to get the job done. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.